When people collect PDF forms into SharePoint 365, a common question that comes up is, how do I now edit the PDF form from inside of SharePoint? The simple answer is that there is no need of functionality to open a PDF form out of SharePoint into the free Adobe Reader and then be able to save the edited PDF form back into SharePoint. To solve this problem, we at FormRouter have created an app that makes this possible. We call the app SharePoint PDF Edit. Basically, this tool solves two problems at once. The app allows you to open, edit, and save PDF forms back to SharePoint. If you have the fields in the form mapped to the fields in your SharePoint list, then the fields in your SharePoint list are also updated to match the fields in the newly edited form. Let's take a look at these tools in action. Here's a PDF form that I've opened up inside of the free Adobe Reader. I've filled the form out, and the form has been previously set up so that when I click on Submit, it transmits my form to my FormWriter account that routes that form directly into my instance of SharePoint. When I log into my SharePoint 365 account and I look inside of my Acrobat event list, I can see that FormRouter has placed a new record in here for me. If I take and look inside the view of this record, I can see that all the field data has come through for my form and all the typed in data. And there's also in here a copy of the full form. Now the problem with this full form is that you could go in here and edit the data, but there's no way to save it so that it goes right back into SharePoint. To solve this problem, I've installed the app SharePoint PDF Edit. To use it, I'll back up a few steps here and go to our list. If you go to a record in the list, you'll see there's a little ellipsis button here. If I click on it, it'll bring a drop down menu. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here a little so you can see this better. But right in the drop down menu, it now says Edit PDF. If I click on this, what it will do is it will use the new tool that I've installed, SharePoint PDF Edit, to open the PDF inside of the free Adobe Reader inside of my, my web browser. Now that the PDF is opened, I can go in and I can change data inside the PDF fields. So maybe I want to change this to Fred Healy, and maybe the phone number is slightly different. Maybe I want uh, all threes in here. When I'm done editing the form, and I can use any of the normal fields that you would find on a PDF form, I can go up and click on Submit the PDF. What this will do is this will take and save this PDF in its entirety back inside that record in SharePoint and also update the metadata in the fields for the list. So I'll do that now. After the form is submitted, you'll see that the record's been updated. And indeed, the metadata now says Fred Healy. If we click and go to view the item, we can go in and click on the PDF form itself and we can see that the entire PDF form that's stored inside of your record has also been updated. So to do a recap, we've submitted a PDF form through a FormWriter account directly into a SharePoint list. Then we opened up our PDF from the SharePoint list, edited the PDF, and saved it right back into the SharePoint list. If you have any interest in this app for SharePoint, 
or in collecting data from online forms through a FormRider account. Please contact us at FormRider.com or you can always call 866-GOT-FORM. That's 866-GOT-FORM.